In our next lesson, we're going to look at this idea called reciprocal trigonometric ratios. Um, it's really, it's, it's not too complicated. It's really just, they are really basic, we have, there are basic trigonometric ratios, as you see here. These are our six basic trigonometric, or our three basic trigonometric ratios, sine, cos, and tan, which relate the, the opposite and the hypotenuse and the adjacent to each other uh, for any right triangle. But uh, there are three other uh, commonly used trigonometric ratios, and they're very much related to those three. And we call them the reciprocal trigonometric ratios. And like the names of sine, cosine, and tangent, they uh, sound a little similar. Okay, so here are the other ratios. There's the cosecant ratio. The cosecant ratio is very much related to the sine ratio. The cosecant ratio says this, and we use this short form again. So it's the cosecant ratio, so it's, we use CSC, of an angle, just like sine of an angle, but instead of having it opposite over hypotenuse, the cosecant of an angle is the hypotenuse over the opposite. That's it. So we've got sine of the angle being opposite over hypotenuse. The cosecant of an angle is hypotenuse over the opposite. That's it. That's the first of the new ones. Uh, so think about so cosine. Cosine of a, a given angle in a right triangle is the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. We've got another one, which is the reciprocal of that, and we call it secant. Secant, which we label this as short form, you can call it sec. The secant of an angle is the reciprocal of the cosine of an angle. So, do you know what it is? It's the hypotenuse over the adjacent. That's it. And the last, can you guess what the last is going to be? Well, we call it cotangent. And cotangent, we use C-O-T, like coat. Sometimes we say coat. The cotangent of an angle is the adjacent divided by the opposite. Okay. So these are the three reciprocal trigonometric ratios because cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, secant is the reciprocal of cosine, and cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Those are the new three reciprocal trigonometric ratios. So what we're going to do now is, is the next set of questions are really just the questions we've already done, but now we're going to talk about cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So the, the type of question that's going to be asked, you're, it will seem very familiar. Here's one. For example, if I have a triangle DEF, if the cosecant of D is 9 over 5, then determine the cotangent of D. So since I have a triangle, let's draw a triangle. And it says, let's label it DEF, so D, E, F. And it says that the cosecant of angle D, so there's angle D, would be 9 over 5. Cosecant of D is 9 over 5. Now, remember that the cosecant, let's go look it up. The cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So the cosecant is the hypotenuse over the opposite. So the cosecant is the hypotenuse over the opposite. So if I label my triangle, if the cosecant of D is 9 over 5, then the hypotenuse must be 9, and the opposite must be 5. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we can find out this missing side length, and then we'll be able to do the cotangent of D, because the cotangent of D says it's the adjacent over the opposite. So I would need the adjacent side to write the cotangent of D. So let's use Pythagorean theorem. So let's call this, uh, oh, let's call this little e over here. So we've got 9 squared must equal e squared plus 5 squared. That's 81. This is e squared plus 25. If you subtract these, we've got 81 subtract 25. That's going to be e squared. Let's bring my calculator in. So we've got 81, subtract 25. we got 56, and then we're going to square root that, or we'll leave it as the square root of 56. Let's use exact values like we have been doing. So this comes out to be, E would be the square root of 56. So the cotangent, let's go over here now, the cotangent of D would be adjacent, which is the square root of 56, 
over the opposite, which is 5. 